And we got some celebrities. Y'all come on up to the front, ladies. Come on. Okay, y'all, we've got some really special guests here. Debbie Antonelli is with us. How are you doing? Here's your microphone. And Amy Tucker, an assistant coach with Stanford. Amy. There you got a microphone. I didn't uh, tell Amy there was going to be all this orange in here. But that's well, there right, is. All right. There's a lot of orange, Amy. You okay? Can you breathe? I love orange. Okay. <laughs> well, I have a seat right there. So glad that Amy Tucker has come to visit with us. We just, Amy, we just listened to Kyra, and I don't know if you saw her draw up her inbounds play. Did you see her? Uh, no. Can you okay. talk to me? No. <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? All right. No, we went ahead and erased it, so you can't take that. But, um... I think everybody knows that Stanford has been ranked number one for the last five weeks of the season, having a tremendous year. And they've also, I don't know if you're aware of this, but they've been to the last five Final Fours, and that's quite a, a doing right there. Thank you. But just a, a couple of questions, and, and Debbie, if you would like to ask a question also, but I, I just, in the preparation for this game, because y'all have been playing this game now, Let's see, 29, this is the 30th year because it's a 22-7 advantage for Tennessee, right? Thanks, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just, I didn't mean to. She had to bring that up, didn't she, Amy? Well, it's just something to talk about, you know. Yeah. But my question to you is, here y'all have flown cross country, had a tough game against at South Carolina. Debbie Antonelli did the game. That was a really, went down to the wire. And now here you are playing Tennessee, a huge rival for y'all. The, the game preparation for this game and the things that you have to do to come into this crowd because you know it's going to be very noisy, um, how, do you prepare, how do you prepare for that? Well, I think the best thing is our team's excited really about it. Our team is very excited about uh, this game. They love the, the big game challenges. We played at Gonzaga, they were sold out. Uh, South Carolina had 8,000 people. And because we've been coming here every other year, we're used to this crowd. Uh, our team loves the challenge. We know playing here is very, very tough. Do you think your team, Stanford, is ahead of where y'all were anticipating them to be at this point in time in the season from after losing such a, some great players last year? Uh, I don't think that we feel that we are. You know, we played Baylor in very early in the season, third game of the year. Um, in the Hawaii tournament, and maybe they were a little bit on, uh, they had a little island fever. They were a little laid back and very chilled. Our team was very excited about it. And uh, I thought we came out with tremendous en energy, and the difference is we made shots. And we didn't do that in the Final Four last year. Uh, they also lost their point guard in that game, so maybe a little bit of a, uh, you know, gave us a little leg up. But I think more than anything, we are excited about how we're improving and we will be better in March. Right. And Amber Arange, the little guard from Texas, um, talk about her a little bit and how she's come around, uh, coming along. Well, I think uh, Amber is probably the biggest difference for us this year. Uh, she has made huge strides as a point guard. Last year as a freshman, uh, she was, we used to call her mute. She wouldn't even talk at all. Um, and that's really tough when your point guard doesn't talk, but her skill set is, is excellent. Uh, she's turned into a great leader. She's plays with a lot of energy, and she's really huge for our success. Absolutely. Debbie, you have a question for Amy? I, one thing she, she know, you know everything about. Yeah, just one thing I'd like to say about, about Amy. I, you know, I've known Amy Tucker for a long time. We were long-time assistants together, uh, opposite schools, but, you know, we, we would run into each other recruiting a lot, and, you know, every great program – they have a great staff, and she's, she's been Tara's assistant coach, associate head coach now for 20, 28 years. 28 years wow. she has been Tara's right-hand woman. And I just think that so much of the credit sometimes, you know, it'll, it, the, the head coach, you know, they get the wins and they get the losses as well. But I would like to say, I mean, Amy Tucker is – certainly one of the most or not the most well-respected associate head coaches or assistant coaches in the country. Absolutely, and probably has had plenty of opportunities to be a head coach and chose to stay at Stanford and be, you know, sometimes being an associate head coach isn't so bad sitting over there in that seat. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Life is pretty good from that seat. But, um, Amy, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate yeah. it, and Thank good you. luck today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give Amy a hand. Show them some Lady Vol love. Thank you, Amy.